Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. As we reported last week, Red Deer College has the largest solar system on a college in Canada. So it's fitting that Rethink Red Deer held their first ever renewable energy fair there. Hi, I'm Rene with Rethink Red Deer. I'm the project lead and we're here finishing up the first Red Deer Renewable Energy Fair and Workshops at Red Deer College. That's Rene Mikulak with Rethink Red Deer. So what's the idea behind the Renewable Energy Fair? To introduce to the community the exponential growth in interest in renewable energy and what the college is invested in here to make that better known to the public as well. It's really amazing the capacity they've built in just a short couple of years to achieve the largest solar rooftop installation in the country. Rethink Red Deer has forged strong partnerships with Red Deer College, the city, and others. But its roots were in protesting car-centric urban design. We're a nonprofit society. We incorporated in 2010, but it started as a grassroots effort by a man named Lauren Daniel, who was a lifetime Red Deerian. Daniel had a beef. He believed the city was planning too much for cars and not enough for people. This was around the 2007 municipal election. Gave presentations to those willing to watch it, ruffled a few feathers of some city officials as a result of it. A bit of a provocative statement, but very poignant. And from that, it grew into the topic of sustainability. From there, Rethink Red Deer has blossomed into an organization that focuses on sustainable living. Our mission really is to live sustainably and and show the community how to do that through hands-on workshops and skill-building opportunities, taking it beyond the conversation into practical living. Rethink Red Deer's latest event, the Renewable Energy Fair, was held in partnership with Red Deer College, and it's just the latest in a series of programs designed to introduce sustainable living concepts. Yeah, so we've got a great initiative around agriculture through the Little Green Thumbs program in, in elementary schools teaching kids where food comes from. We have a restoration project here called the Piper Creek Restoration Agriculture Project where we're working on a community garden space that's a former livestock operation. Rethink Red Deer also runs the Root Cellar Eco Store where they sell worm castings and teach people about soil. The Fall Renewable Energy Fair that we attended is all part of an initiative they call Rethinking Climate Literacy. The workshops covered a range of topics. Passive house design was a really interesting one given the Scott Subaru passive house dealership ambition. We had the solar PV lifestyle moving from photovoltaic to electric vehicles and what that experience is like for the early adopters. We had ATCO here talking about micro generation and we had the Alberta Utilities Consumer Advocate talking about something as simple as understanding your electricity bill. The cool part is the event took place at Red Deer College, a campus with a new alternative energy lab and the largest solar system on a post-secondary institution in Canada. A good portion of that 1.6 megawatt solar system is on the Gary W. Harris Canada Games Centre. The Canada Games are coming in February. And I think that is going to put Red Deer even further uh, in the spotlight and on the map for innovation and forward thinking and kind of show the rest of the world that it's not just a hidden community where there's not much going on. There is, you know, quite a cosmopolitan culture emerging here. And we're also referred to as the Portland of the Prairies. Learn more about the sustainability work of Rethink Red Deer and Red Deer College at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.